Hola, hola, hola. What's up, guys? Um, this is my first time on Periscope, by the way. So be a little patient with me. Um, I just Instagram live, but I wanted to jump on Periscope for the first time and see how it worked. And yeah. Let's go. What's up, guys? This is pretty fucking cool. <laughs> Thank you. Meatball! Why does everybody ask to see my stomach? Even my friends, I'm like, let me see your stomach. I'm like... Guys, I lost a lot of weight in the house. A lot of my jeans don't even fit. It's bizarre. Alright, so this is my first time on Periscope. Um, I don't know how it works. I'm getting used to it. It's pretty dope. I'm going to be Periscoping, Instagram Live, Facebook Live... Snapchatting you guys, I want to stay in touch with you guys and, 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 and try to give as much, um, you know, this is my hangout with you guys, this is where we hang out, this is where we talk shit, this is where we catch up, this is where everything goes down, so yeah, we're, I'm going to be doing a lot of Periscope and a lot of um, Instagram Live, so yeah. Who wants meatball for lunch? Somebody doing that, ain't me. <laughs> you look great, thank you. Hola, 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 hola. Whoa, this is faster than IG. Holy shit. Te queremos mucho. I love you guys too. Ba -da 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 -da. That's going to get old real quick. Guys, so I hear that I'm a ringtone on iTunes. What the hell? Somebody sent me the link to that because I can't find it, but I want to hear it. I, I don't know if fans were gassing me up, but that was true. Guys, this whole King thing, it's like... What? My aunt's like, they call you King Josh. I'm like, what's the... Uh, Thank you, guys. I am home. I am home with my family. I don't know if you guys heard that. I am not going to watch BB19. Um, people have been sending me clips. I've saw, I've seen some YouTube clips, but I don't want to watch it, man. I think that the edit... And I, just, I don't want to watch it. I don't want to watch it. The only um, episode that I watched was the last episode with my with my brother because he wanted me to watch it, um, and they got emotional in front of me. It was really t I, I saw my family uh, my family's live reaction, which was bizarre. I thought nobody was watching. I didn't think my friends were watching or my family, so I was really happy. I love you guys too. I love you. I love you. I love you. Thank you. I am getting my five minutes of fame, so I don't think I'm famous. I just think that people love me and I, and people see my heart and see how good I am. And, and I'm appreciating it. I'm giving the love in return. So whoever's mad, you go get your 15 minutes, buddy, because I'm having mine. Don't be pissed. Don't be mad. Don't be salty. Be happy. <laughs> uh, oh, I got. I heard I got fucking... They went off on me in... in, in uh, the round table, but that's cool, man, I think that a lot of them didn't play the game, um, um, so, if you're pissed, and be pissed, but I, 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 the ones that held me down, and, and, and spoke good about me, thank you, and the ones that were bitter, we all know who they were, um, Maven, you guys didn't do much, so I don't know how you can have an opinion about my game when you didn't even have a game, but, shout out to those two, come, I will be in Canada soon, guys, don't worry, Hola, hola, hola. What's up, guys? Hola, familia. I'm going to travel, and I'm going to travel everywhere. It's going to be fucking awesome, and I can't wait. Um, but I have some meet and greets, and I have some... I have some meet and greets, and I have some, um, a, like, um, appearances and things like that that are in the works. So I can't wait to announce them, guys. It's going to be fun. It's going to be hype. I don't know how much Uncle Sam is taking, but I hope it's not a lot. Because I want to keep a lot of it. But, it, 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 I mean, the cut is pretty fucking intense. Guys, there isn't no tea to spill. There isn't, I don't get it. There's no, I don't, what do you mean tea? 
What do you mean tea? What tea are we talking about? Sweet tea? Because I love sweet tea. I love sweet tea. Um, so I don't know what tea we're talking about, but if you got you got some sweet tea, some green tea sweetened with some brown sugar, send that shit my way because I'm fucking, I need some. I love Canada. I love you, UK. I love, I can't wait to visit Canada. I'm really excited about visiting Canada and hopefully UK too. Jacksonville. Guys, I want to do as many meet and greets as I can, man, around everywhere. You guys want me to go to your city? Just hit up your nearest club or your nearest um, venue or whatever and see if, you know, enough. If you guys want me out there, reach out to them and have them come to my booking email. It's on my social media and we'll make it happen. So, yeah, hit up your nearest venue or club and and and, and let me know. Um... Uh, there's nothing to talk about about certain people. I think that I have my opinion and I already said it and there's not much to talk about. And 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 I wish all of my... Megan, no way. Wow, if Megan is watching and it's really her, um, hi, Megan. I, I hope that everything's going good with you. DM me. I, I would love to get in contact with you. I hope that everything's going good. Um, much blessings to you. I know that the experience was really hard. And, 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 yeah, much love to you, Megan. So, if, if DM me if it's really you, because I don't know if the fans are just saying that. You guys want me in your city? You guys want me in your town? Hit up your nearest venue and your nearest club. Send them my booking email, and we'll make it happen. Um, favorite players besides Ike and Dimitri in Canada? John Party was, I, I like John Party, but Aika and Dimitri, I mean, Aika's my girl. Aika is awesome. I love you, Aika Wong. I hope that you guys send this to her and clip it to her. I love you, Aika. My family, my mom is obsessed with Aika. You guys have no idea. They're like best friends, my sister and Aika. Guys, I would really appreciate if we didn't have to, I, I really don't care what's going on with, um... Some of my some of my house guests and their things and stuff. I wish them the best, much blessings. Um, you guys want my opinion? I'll give you my opinion, but I'm not gonna talk about whatever's going on in their lives. I wish them the best, and that's all I gotta say. <clears throat> thank you, thank you. I am with my family. Hola, Maryland. My love goes out to you guys. <sighs> well, this is really fast, guys. Holy smokes. I can't even I can't even um get to it. Wow. Guys, I didn't know that my face expressions were so funny until I watched some clips that people sent me in my gifs. I'm like, I make face expressions like that? What the hell? <laughs> We did not hear no bullhorn. Oh, we heard it one time, but besides that, no, we didn't. I'm in touch with other house because I FaceTime Kevin and his family like every other day. I um, group chat with Paul and Christmas and and Elena and Marlena and all that stuff. And I'm, but whoever you, I text most of them. Yeah, I'm Dominique. I text her. Yeah. So yeah, they've been really man. They've been nice and they've shown me their love and their appreciation and all that stuff. So. Even though if we don't talk anything, we have that experience together. So we're the only 16, 17 people that experience that. And, and we walk away with that. So down the line or whenever, you know, I'm cool with them. I don't have any hard, no grudges or anything against none of my house guys. Hello, hola, April. Oh my god, this is really fast, guys. Holy smokes! Meatball squad, team meatballs. Guys, my family's fine. Um, My family was not affected by the storm, thank God. I, you guys continue to ask, and, and I'll continue to tell you guys my family's doing good. My home wasn't affected. There was just some trees knocked down, and, um, and yeah, everybody's doing good. Thank you guys for asking, and I'm going to, I'm putting out links so that you guys can give back and help to the people that were affected, just some donations of water, food, um, first aid kits, and things like that. Whatever you guys donate is going to be great, so thank you. Uh, 
Um, so I heard my family informed me that Dominique, Jessica, Jason, and Paul's family um, reached out to my family during the hurricane and while I was in there. I just want to say to you guys, um, thank you so much for reaching out to my family. That meant a lot that you guys checked in on them and, and, and you know, just took the moment to say, to see if they were okay. So thank you guys to Jess, Dom, um, Paul's family, and everybody's family. Thank you. And I, man, my house kids are cool people. It was a game and it's done, but at the end of the day, they have good hearts. So thank you guys for reaching out. My family was doing great. Thank you. Guys, just so that you know, the hardest thing about um, getting adapted back to this is my sleeping schedule is completely fucked up. I fell asleep the other day at 7 in the morning. I couldn't go to sleep. My anxiety was bad. I took a melatonin. I couldn't go to sleep. I'm getting used to my schedule back home of going to sleep on time. It's not happening. I was in and out of sleep. So I have not slept, I promise you, for like a week or two. It's insane. I haven't got had good rest. And I don't know if it's happening to any other one of my house guests, but... Whoa, those 92 days fucked up my sleeping schedule. Hola, 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 hola. I need to get fast on this stuff because it's horrible. Fair or Orwell. Thank you. My family's doing great. Thank you. Hola, Zoe. I love you guys too. Thank you. I talked to the cameras all season just so you guys can have a piece of my mind and I really didn't even share much which is crazy I just kept repeating the same shit and it looks I hate watching back and repeating myself all the time and people would say that But um now I'm gonna talk to live feed so hopefully I mean the live cam um live stream so hopefully you guys are Stay tuned Thank you I am jet lagged big time. I don't know what's going on. Latino Prime, Latino, my Hispanics. Shout out to all my Latinos. Thank you. They wanted to fuck up my eyebrows in the house all the time. They're like, can we do your eyebrows? No, dude. I got great eyebrows. What do you mean? What do you mean you want to do my eyebrows? <laughs> Have I addressed what favorite TV shows? I haven't slept, guys, at all. It's horrible. What's up? What's up? Um, I'm going to be traveling a lot pretty soon. I'm going to be traveling a lot for work, but pretty soon I'll hopefully take a vacation, guys. And, and, and I don't know where I'm going, but it's going to be fun. Well, I wanted to jump on here um, for my first Periscope. I answered a lot of questions on IG, so go stay tuned to that. I have a lot of great um, opportunities that are coming my way, and I'm going to be announcing all of that on my social media. I'm going to be Periscoping a lot. I'm going to be IGing. Um, live a lot and, and, and all the events and everything and appearances that I have coming up. I'm going to put everything on my um, on my Instagram and all over my social media and I'll promote it so that you guys can come out. Hopefully, we have some meet and greets um, coming up soon and I get to meet all of you guys. I literally want to meet every single one of you, give you guys hugs and kisses, take pictures. Um, I'm going to be opening a PO box really soon. Um, to so that I can get fan mail and you guys can communicate with me more and send me pictures and whatever you guys want So I'm gonna open a PO box probably tomorrow and I'll link that on my social media And also I just want to say my prayers go out to everybody that's been affected by the hurricane I heard Mexico. I, I know Key West got hit pretty hard Puerto Rico um, Texas, I just want to say everybody that was affected if I have any fans or any people out there or family um, My prayers go out to you guys um, stay strong and whatever I can do, you know if I can get my hands around any people donations or anything, I'm gonna do whatever I can. I'm I'm giving back to to key to the Key West. My friend's doing something nice, and I'm linking that on my social media so you guys can donate first aid kits, water, food, and if you guys are down for that in the Miami area, then please um you know whatever it is that you give, it's a box of water that would help. So thank you guys, and all my prayers go out to everybody that's been affected by the hurricane, man. It's tough and and, and it's sad to hear. I will be coming to Orlando for an event pretty soon. I can't announce anything, guys, yet until it's locked in and official. But I have a lot of things in the works, and it's really fun, man. It's it's pretty crazy that all this is happening for me. But I can't wait till you guys. Uh, it's it's cool. I mean, 
for me, it's big. For me, it's huge because I've never done anything like this. For everybody, it's like, oh, it's a, for me, this is a blessing and it's huge. So I'm excited for all the, all the meeting groups and everything that's going on. And even if we're at a pizza shop, I'll be like, guys, I'm going to be at this pizza shop. Come meet me up and we'll hang out. So, yeah. Hola, 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 hola. King, this king thing's like, who's the king? Me? I'm the king. What the hell? I love Dom, man. My Dom, I love you. Thank you, guys. Thank you, thank you. Um, the question is if people are mad at me, if I'm mad at them, I'm not mad at anybody. Um, I can't continue to repeat this. I'm getting tired of repeating it, but I got the same questions. I wish nothing but love, blessings, and light to all of my house guests. You guys will never understand how hard it is to live in that house. You guys don't know how hard that experience really is. You guys see it on TV and it's one thing, but to live in there 24-7 for while well, I was in there for 92 days or however long. If you're in there for one day, it's hard, man. The experience is mentally draining. It's such a blessing for all of our lives. And I know that we're all having great opportunities after this if, if anybody's getting them. But it is hard. So, man, I know what it is to be in there. So, I have nothing. Uh, unless people come for me and they want to act slick on social media and say some slick shit, they know that I'm going to address them and put them in their place but besides that light and love and blessings to all of my house because and i wish them all the best and i hope that they get from this experience what they always what they wanted yes i do come to portland hit up your nearest venue near the club and i'll be in portland chicago wherever it is that you want me i will be in cali tomorrow guys i'm actually going to be in california I'm flying tomorrow Tomorrow night, I want to say. But yeah, I fly out to California tomorrow. If you guys see me, just say hi, man. Just come up to me. Say hi. Give me a hug. We'll take a picture. I'll talk. I don't mind. I, I, it's, it's funny. I've been going out in public and people have been taking pictures, hiding. Like, like they're like they're like this. They're like taking a hit. And it's like, you don't have to do that. You guys want a picture? Come up to me, man. I'm, I'm, I'm not a... I'm not a... I'm not going to bite you. Bite me. <laughs> no, I don't want to bite you. How about that? How about that? I don't want to bite you. Karma's going to bite you. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. I will not be auctioning anything. That is not happening. I'm seeing with all my big brother stuff. You guys all played yourself on that note. Hopefully I come out with some merch and some shirts. Like nothing gassed up. I'm not a I'm not gonna make a fucking clothing line. That's not my wave. That's not my path. But a lot of people want like shirts with me banging positive pants and the da 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 and my one liners. Um so I'm gonna try to get my hands on that. And if I do then I'll I'll do a a good amount and we'll get those out and then it was fun positive vibes guys if you only knew i'm all about positive energy and positive vibes i'm 23 years old i'm not perfect i made up a lot of mistakes in the house i learned from everything even the arguments the fights the pots and pans the getting in people's grill when people say why are you crying is because i have a good heart yeah i did what i did but i knew if i was wrong and i felt bad about it then i cried and i let it out and if i got frustrated and wanted to hit somebody in the face i knew that i couldn't do that so i contained it and and, and i cried and i would cry out of anger i would cry out of mistakes that i made but overall the blessing that i take from big brother besides winning and making genuine friendships is that I grew and I matured and I learned from my mistakes and I and I'm a, a way better human being from that experience I'm thankful with CBS with casting um with Robin casting that made the experience happen with Danny Love that was the one that found me so just um you know, I am really grateful for that experience and the growth, the friendships and winning the game and making my dream country so CBS I love you Hola, Toronto. I will be making shirts, guys. Don't worry. Thank you. I will be back in LA tomorrow. If you see me, say hola. Hola, familia. We'll be making shirts soon, guys. Don't worry. Um, I don't care about the crazy shit that's going on with, with other, I don't care about it. So, yeah, no. Nobody's trash, guys. Those are mean, mean words. Come on.
We're better than that. We're Team Meatballs better than that. We spread love. We spread light. We don't need to do that. We don't. We won. We don't need to go there. We won. I won. We don't need to spread head. Spread love. Spread love. Um, I wish all of my house guests the best. So if you guys are trying to come out here and get one thing you're not going to get from me, I will always give you the real facts and I will give you the truth and I will speak my mind because that's what I do. But you're not going to get any tea. You're not going to get me trash talking or bad mouthing anyone in my house guys. I'll keep it real with you. I'll speak about the situation. I'll address it. I'll give you my opinion, but I'm not going to trash Matt. You're not going to get that from me. So if you want a Twitter beef, go to somebody else. I don't know which other house guest is going to do that, but if they're gassed up and they're hyped up and they're all gassed, then they could go take that somewhere else because I don't need to entertain that. I wish all of my house guests, I wish Raven, I wish Elena, I wish everybody the best. I'll give you my opinion and what I think about the situation, but I am not going to bad, you're not going to catch me saying horrible personal things about people because that's not me. Hola, hola, hola. Oh, uh, did they play themselves? That's very true. Now, they're not trash. No one's trash. In my eyes, nobody's trash. But did they play themselves? I think they did. Uh, if you ask me, I think they did. <laughs> Thank you. Hola, hola, hola. Everybody underestimated me. One thing that I want to tell everybody... If you're underestimated, if people overlook you, that has to be, that was my biggest blessing. I was underestimating me. People thought I was the joke of the season. Well, guess what? I'm a joke and I'm 500k richer. You played yourselves. Bye. <laughs> I was underestimated. I downplayed my intelligence. I literally um, would take a lot of shit from people left and right in that house. Demands. People's egos were so inflated in that house. Everybody wanted to be the head honcho. Everybody wanted to call the shots. Everybody wanted to make the moves. And I just downplayed my... I'm a boss. I was raised, raised by bosses. If I wanted to checkmate a lot of fools, I could have done it. But I decided to say, you know what? One of my mom's favorite players was Steve Moses and how he made it to the end and won. And he didn't. So I downplayed my intelligence of the game, how, how I knew the game. But not only that, I took a lot of shit in the house because I was like, I'm going to let them. I'm going to let them. I'm going to let them. I'm going to let them because I know I'm going to get a final two and I'm going to win. And I'm going to fucking kill it. And my strategy, even before we got into jury, goodbye messages. I wasn't going to mess up my game in that house. But I knew I was going to hit him with goodbye messages. And once I... Expose my game in, in jury with my speeches. If I got to find it too, I knew that I was going to kill it. And people were going to respect that. And and just people, res I stayed true to myself, man. Uh, you can say whatever you want. You can make up whatever you want. He didn't play the game. Yo, a lot of you were eating cereal. And a lot of you, you were playing other things than the game. And you have the audacity to say I didn't play the game. Where were you in the Big Brother house? Because last time I checked, you weren't doing shit but other shit. Okay? So that's what I want to say. I didn't play the game. No, in reality, you played yourself, boo-boo. The Meepa Familia, I love you guys. And I'm getting a P.O. box really soon, so you guys can send all your love my way, so thank you. I was, onto, uh, I was onto people's games, but it wasn't my benefit. Why would I out somebody's game that had my back and that I took loyalty to and that they, they were going to take me to them because they thought they could beat me? Why? Why would I turn on them? Why? I would have played myself. It played out the way that it, it, it played out the best way possible, guys. So, yeah. I won. I don't have to speak about the game anymore. And I was woke as fuck that whole game. And a lot of people know it. But a lot of things I kept to myself and I didn't say it because it didn't benefit me. Now, if people wanted to take what I was saying and make it like they came up with those judgments and make it like it was their game. But I was I was woke and I was waking up people because a lot of people were blinded. And so be it. You could be the best. You could be the mastermind in the whole nine. You could take that title. I don't want that title. I wasn't mean to anybody. I'm not mean to anybody. I'm keeping it real. One thing is saying, sl um, slandering somebody's, um, um, you know, personally and saying mean things about something. So one thing is just keeping it real, kitty boo boo. <laughs> Your damn meatballs. Whoever said kitty boo boo, that's funny, man. Uh, whoever wrote kitty boo boo, yeah, that was funny. That reminded me of Christmas. I'm about to FaceTime her ass. I'll be doing a meet and greet in Miami soon, guys, so stay tuned. And you guys better come out and show love, and, and we'll take pictures and, 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 and do a lot. Um, I want to send love to my 
homies that had my back since day one because I knew that you guys were giving her shit on Twitter for my haters. Ika Wong and Dimitri, I fucking love you guys. I'm coming to Canada soon and we're about to turn up and celebrate fucking Miami style, fucking Latino style. The whole nine, the Meatball Madness is going down and we're going to have a damn blast. Because I heard she had my back and I fucking love her. <sighs> Fuck slop. I lost 30 pounds because of slop. I was woke as hell in the game. They played themselves, and then people want to give themselves the credit. If I would have flipped, that house would have flipped upside down. But guess what? That's not my style. No, I'm not. I, I want to communicate. I've I seen that a lot of people have been giving their opinions. You guys DM me with everybody saying this, that, and that, and I don't care about it. But I just want to. I just want to give you my a little piece of my mind, and 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 nothing crazy. I don't want to. I'm not here to talk shit about nobody, but I'm just here to, you know, talk facts. Like I said, be mentally prepared if you're ready to go in that game. I'm not saying have a, your strategy doesn't work. Like, your strategy is shit. If you have a strategy, leave it at home. It's not going to happen. Be mentally prepared if you want to play Big Brother. And all the fans, go out. Go out and try out, man. I was a fan, and I thought I was never going to make it, and it happened for me. My dream came true, so I hope that every single one of you is even making it on the show. If you guys want it, I hope it comes true for you guys. What rumors? Thank you. Um, the whole bullying thing, guys. I'm 23 years old. I'm not perfect. And, and you know, watching some things back, I can see how things can, some things can be perceived. Um, I think that I'd rather address people face-to-face -face and in person and, and have a one-on-one -on -one conversation with them. I don't need to do this through social media. I think that that's childish and I think that that's cowardly, talking through social media. If I did offend anybody and if I did do anything that might have been perceived as bullying, I own up to it and I am extremely sorry. I'm 23 years old and I learned from my mistakes and I learned from watching myself that some things can be perceived that way. But at the end of the day, me speaking for myself, I can't speak for anyone else. Um, there was a lot of things that were said personally to me that a lot of people didn't deal with. If people decided to get in arguments that I was having, that's on them. I can't control three people trying to jump in an argument that I'm having. But if I address somebody, I address them by myself. And I didn't need somebody to send me. Or I didn't need somebody to, um, you know, stand up for me. I had my back. And, and, and a lot of things got personal with me in there. And I know that I said a lot of personal things to other people. But, you know, and I didn't feel good about half of those arguments. But um, I learned from them, man. I'm 23 and I grew a lot in watching back. Um, I know that I'm going to grow even more from that. But if, you know, even my housemates, I think that I think that, that conversation, if any one of my housemates want to have it, we can. But I wish them all the best from the bottom of my heart. I have no, I have no, I'm going to continue to speak the truth and address shit and keep it 100 because that's just what I do. I'll keep it. I'll keep it real with you guys if you guys have me a question. But personally, I don't wish no ill intent to anybody. And um, having an opinion is not being a bully. It's being a, it's having an opinion, standing up for yourself, and holding your ground. And that's exactly what I did. And to be honest with you, that's why those three voted and 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 held me as the winner because I kept it real. I I stood there by myself and showed face, and I wasn't a coward. I wasn't hiding behind anybody else. I wasn't sending other people to do my shit. If I had something to say, I said it. And um, like you said, it's a game. It's a game, and 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 it was meant to be played. And yeah. Um, you know, one thing that you, the, the, the thing that I want to address is that there was a lot of things personally made up about me in the game that you guys, I don't know if you guys got, got to hear or got around to or it aired or anything. There was a lot of, I think that a lot of people, when they would argue, would all be game, 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 game. And there was a lot of shit being said to me personally that wasn't game related. And it took a toll. Me peeking in the shower. That's disgusting. I don't even know who would say something like that. That's, 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 that's awful. And I know that that drifted me away from a lot of people that made a lot of people in that house have judgments on me. And the sad thing is that they, instead of addressing me and asking me and having a conversation with me, they went based on what somebody else made up. And that's, that's sad. That's sad that, um, you know, people didn't have conversations with me. Instead, they were saying all these horrible things. I have a family just like everybody else. And those aren't, those aren't jokes. That's not something you joke about. That's something that you can really ruin somebody's lives. I would never do that. I have a sister, and that's disgusting to any man that would do that. But um, people 
t people said that they were going to come out and slander my name and say things like that about me. Um, but, um, you know, there was there was just a lot of things that were said about me personally that you guys haven't seen or 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 have seen that was just really from from the beginning from day one that that made me be reactive and made me be on guard and made me stand up for myself and made me hold my ground and made me pull out the pots and pens and do all that crazy things so the pots and pens was strategy i wanted to throw people off their game and i wanted to be obnoxious and annoying and i didn't want people to live i wanted them to be like i cannot live with this crazy kid he is a psycho and that was the point that was part of the game but all the other personal stuff if i said personal things i apologize to them and they they i think that them knowing me for so long they realized who how I was and I'm 23 and I've learned and I've grown and I'm matured from a lot of the things that I did in the house and I'm blessed for the man that I walked in being a 23 year old um that you know with my heart and everything but I I walk out a better man and I walk out a better person and I walk out way mature more um just aware and just intelligent person man and, and and i feel really good i'm really blessed and only big brother could do that for me so i am forever in depth with cbs with robin casting and with all of them that made this experience because not only did i win but i i i, I grew i matured and i and i and i gained so much growth personally that i couldn't have gained it anywhere else and i walked away with genuine friendships like poshmas and, and 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 jason and alex and just kevin and just great people man so yeah Hola, 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 hola. Um, I don't care about who said it or what happened, guys. I'm just saying um, the the edit can say one thing, but I don't think they, they just show me reacting, reacting, and then crying right after. There was people threatening to throw things across my head. Every time that I would hit them with facts that were game-related, I'd be like, your game sucks, you're shady, you're this and that. They would be like, fuck you, da -da, and want to bang things across my head, and I'm like... Uh, but the edit made it seem like I was, the, I mean, there's live feeds. That's the blessing about Big Brother, that there's live feeds, that you can see it live. You see what's going on live, and, and oh, my voice is annoying. Thank you. Tune the fuck out, um, that you guys can see things. Guys, just love all my stuff. I don't want no hate. Stop it. Thank you. I appreciate that. Well, I am going to get off. I, I wanted to live stream for a while with you guys. And um, I did an IG. I'm going to be periscoping a lot. And just talking to you guys. You guys have questions. We could do that. If I do want to... If I do end up watching a... a, a um, an episode here and there, I'll live stream it with you guys, and you guys can get my reaction of me watching the episode and all that stuff. So I just want to say, Team Meatballs, um, all the fans, thank you so much. I fucking love you guys. Thank you for the love and support. Thank you for the um, for just all the nice things that you guys have to say. The love, um, Team Meatballs, everybody that has that, that keeps sharing me love. Thank you. That's what I pay attention to. I don't read all these negative people that just sit behind a keyboard and have nothing better to do with their lives. I think it's pathetic. I think um, it'd be nice to everyone, even if you dislike them. There's you don't have to be so so you know say ignorant things. But um, the people that continue to say um, just really nice things to me. Thank you, man. I appreciate it. Mad love to all of you guys. And nothing goes unseen. I see everything. If not, people send it to me. So thank you. My love to all Team Meatballs. My love to all the Big Brother fans. And peace and love and much blessings to everyone. Deuces. I